Welcome to Solia Resort Cebu. The Solia is actually made up of three hotels. You get three in one. So behind me is their oldest building here. That's Solia Seaview. Now, if you're familiar with Cebu, that used to be called Best Western Sandbar and Solia bought over. Then they built this one, which is Solia Mactan. And their newest addition is the one behind me here. You can see that's Solia Palm. I stayed here during New Year's, so I'll show you what goes on at their New Year's Eve party, and it's something you don't wanna miss. So looking at the map, first the resort is located in Cordova, which is in the southeastern side of the island, around about 30 minutes or so from the airport, depending on traffic. So during Typhoon Odette, some of the rooms in Solia Palm were damaged, the windows are smashed in, the rain got in, damaged the room, the beds. So this one's got plenty of pools, that you can see out there. There's like eight or nine swimming pools here, if you count them individually, just heaps. So out the front of Mactam Resort, it has its main infinity pool, which stands out with its dark blue tiles. It overlooks the main pool and looks really stylish. Below is their main pool, probably the most popular pool in the resort due to its size and accessibility. It has a kids area to one side and also some slides. Around the pool there's places to relax with some umbrellas and it just looks really good. So in between the Mactan and Palm Resort buildings is a smaller pool which to one side has a couple of glass panels which everybody wants to take photos at. There's a dedicated toddler's pool complete with a splashing bucket, obviously popular with the little ones. At the front of the Seaview Resort is the older pool, the legacy from the Sandbar Resort days. It also has a slide to one side. Hello, I'm Ronnie Lapa. Welcome to Lagoon Water Park. Adult 300 peso and kids 5 to 12 years old, 175 peso. Come and enjoy your fun. Just a note, this one is seawater. The other pools are fresh water. This is a fairly popular pool too with families being with the inflatable water park. They do charge to use it though. And for those who like to complain and argue about everything, this is the pool for you. Aptly named the Karen Pool. Ironically, the pool actually looks quite classy. Just by the beach here, they're having a wedding here. You can just see the bride there. Sorry guys, another girl's off the list here. Girls, I'm still available. So this is the beachfront. Does it look like Boracay? I don't think Boracay has too much to worry about. Get lays by the beach here, or enjoy some water sports. They used to have a floating cottage out here that's obviously been destroyed by the typhoon. It is a man-made beach. Enjoy it for what it is. One night I was here, they had a beautiful sunset over the beach. It's a year after the typhoon, and by and far, you can't really notice that a massive typhoon went through here. Look, all green again. All this grassed area around me here used to be the ocean. They've reclaimed it all. You can get a better idea when you look from above and it really stands out. So what's this place called? It's Happy Pebbles. This is for the little okay. kids over here? Yes, that's for one to twelve years old. And, and then, then we've got the big kids over here. So that's for the adults. Well, like me. Yes, of course. Adult, adult games. <laughs> adult games. What games do you have here for the adults? For the adults, we have the billiard, the table tennis, the football, and the dart. And also we have the basketball arcade. Fun for both kids and adults at this place. The kiddies area. Oh, it's for the kids. So this is where the adults can play as well as kids. There's all types of games here. Ping pong, darts over there. Snooker, soccer, and basketball games over there. This is the karaoke area. You can rent bikes? Yes, sir. For the bike, that's 150 for 30 minutes. Okay, so you ride around just around yes. the resort? Yes, uh, uh, Nintendo Switch. Oh, uh, Nintendo Switch? Yes. So and Nintendo also we have the Nintendo Segway. Switch. What's that? Wow, it's pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so try this out 500 yes, per hour. Per and you can go right around the resort. Yes. And you can go right around the resort for 500. I'm going backwards, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my God. <laughs> ah! I feel like I'm going to the toilet. <laughs> also we have for the adults. Yeah, what? For the adults. Adult yes. Like play but almost Koreans. <laughs> There's adult books. Yes, adult books. Like, but this is Korean books. Oh, Korean. Pardon? Men's adult books. No, I don't have that one. Behind me are the rentals for the bikes. It looks like 
for all types of kids and adults, all different types of bikes. It's a little bit of a lounge bar area, but there's non-alcoholic drinks here, so don't think you can drink beers. See you soon at Harper Pebbles. For eating, they have their main restaurant. You can eat outside or in the aircon building. Breakfast is a buffet. Overall, it was okay, a decent enough selection, although almost the same dishes every morning. There's a mix of local, Asian and Western dishes, plus fresh fruits and salad. Keep in mind it does get busy at times, so you may have to time it. Depending on guest numbers, they may have buffets during lunch and dinner, otherwise it's a la carte. For me, the dishes range from okay to good. The varieties of dishes on their menu was okay, with a number of cuisines to suit the different nationalities of guests. This is a copy of the menu when I stay with the prices. There's also a kids menu as well. This is a drinks menu, which had a pretty good selection as well. Outside to one end was their bar. Okay, welcome to Coco Pool Bar. Enjoy your hot Americano, sir. Oh, enjoy cocktails. some cocktails. Enjoy some cocktails and we have Enjoy some refreshing drinks. Fresh juices, First like juices. cucumber juice and carrot. fresh carrot, carrot juice. Opa. <laughs> Here I had to get my morning coffee and enjoy the beautiful views overlooking the pools. They also had a popcorn stand for the young and the young at heart. In the gym, if you want to look like Han, look at those, look at those pecs, look at those muscles. They had a gym if you wanted to look like Han. This is their rooftop bar. Hi everyone, welcome to Salt and Sky Rooftop Lounge. I am the bartender for now, so my specialty drinks is the, mar the frozen margarita. Come and try it and visit Salt and Sky. Enjoy your drink, sir. So uh, you can follow my blog as well, Brindia Squad. That is good. At night, you have to come to the Salt and Sky Rooftop Lounge to enjoy the serenity here as well as the beautiful views. And there you go, you got beautiful views overlooking the resort here. It's the place you have to be at night. So this is the New Year's party theme, it's going to be Hawaiian tonight here. So this is a Christmas Eve party starting, they've got a foam pool party going on here behind me. I arrived a bit late for the foam pool party, but it looked like it was a lot of fun. So this is the setup for New Year's Eve here. You can see lots of tables behind me. They're gonna have a band up there and it's gonna be a buffet dinner here. You can see it's already noisy and it's only like six o'clock. Hi, happy New Year, welcome to Solinger. The night kicked off with the band playing some cool music. That aroma from the barbecue food was just to die for and a taste of what was to come. There was unlimited drinks inside the building. They had some delicious food set up. There was so much food, you weren't going to go hungry. And as you can see, the staff are really into the party vibe. It's good to see tourism picking up. At midnight, there was a 10 minute firework display, which was organized by the resort. What a fantastic way to end the year. It was just a really fun night. Everybody just let their hair hang down. And that included the staff. It was good to see after not having a New Year's Eve party for the last three years due to lockdowns and the typhoon. Anyhow, it's highly recommended. Check it out for next year. And if you need to pamper yourself. Good morning, sir. Welcome to Nava Spa. Our signature massage is our Novo Aroma Massage, Deep Pressure Massage. Uh, also, this is our one hour and 30 minutes massage. If you want to come here and you don't want massage to take, you should choose that one, right? Yes, absolutely. That, that's the one to go for. Okay. This is our massage treatment room here. Good for, Good for two bucks. So let's have a look at the rooms. So this building is the older one and they were renovating the rooms to standardize them all throughout the whole resort. At the moment, it hasn't been finished due to the typhoon and the lockdowns. Things have been kind of slow at getting things done here. Are you having fun here, Solia? Yeah, we're yeah. having fun here. There's so Especially. many hot Korean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're into Korean girls. So I'll show you the two other buildings' rooms which are the middle and on the left. This is the deluxe sea view with two double beds. It's a pretty clean and simple room, decent enough for a mid-range resort. And obviously this costs more because you're paying for the view. This one obviously having the best views with the balcony overlooking both the pool and ocean. The size of the room was okay. Cable TV did have limited amount of channels. It had tea and coffee making facilities. The bathroom was okay as well, although the hot water wasn't particularly hot. So this one is the Solia Palm sea view room. 
It was pretty much similar in size, just a little subtle differences, such as the wardrobe. The room was located a bit back, but fairly similar views. The balcony size is not too bad either. You can sit back with a drink, or just take in the view. The bathroom was the same, but it had a window overlooking the bedroom. This one is a pool view room with two double beds, much the same inside. So this is the pool view balcony that I'm on, and obviously as you can see behind me, the, the pool views, and further in the distance is the ocean. Now this faces towards, well, looking towards that direction is the east, so if you can get up early enough, you can watch the sunrise. Sometimes you can get some really spectacular colours. And that was the sunrise I got. And there you can see the Mactan Resort, and that's just how close the two buildings are together. Now I believe the rooms behind me there, they're the, the actual called the sea view because you get to see the sea view, but I know it's practically the same as what I got. I'm just on a different angle. The bathroom was the same, and you can see it had the glass windows out to the bedroom. If you get a garden view, this is what view you'll get. On the website, you can see more about the room types and the prices, and if you wish, you can book on their website. You can also book through third-party sites. So overall, for a mid-range resort, it's not too bad, and it does make for a good family resort. Overall, I'd give it something like a B-. If you want to see a great luxury resort in Mactan, check out this video on screen now. Or, if you're planning on going to Boracay, you can check out my top 10 resorts in Boracay. I highly recommend you watching either one of these two videos. I'll catch you there.